everyone. We're just waiting for a laser to get into the lobby. I know you can't watch that now. I'll just link it so you have it. Oh my god, it's so good. Thanks. Oh uh, yeah, a laser may be AFK. He may be watching the stream. Uh, either way, we'll have to wait just a couple of moments for him to get in here. But Billowy is here, so hi, Billowy. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Uh, he knows message me saying he hasn't been paid. I'm pretty sure I sent him money. I gotta go look into that. Mm, okay. I don't want people to not be paid. That's very non esports of you. Ha 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 ha. Alright, he's here. <clears throat> so, once the laser says ready, you're going to do Gettysburg again. Go, go, go. So, the winner of this will face alive in the best of five finals. They're already in some money, though, so I guess if they lose, they can still cry, like, uh, dry their tears with ten dollars ten dollar bills yep that's the fourth and third place money it wasn't clear and here we are on new gettysburg once again in the bottom left as the green zerg he is a laser and his opponent on the opposite side of the map hailing from korea it's going to be none other than the orange protoss billowy mm -hmm. one european down Another one to go. You know, I, 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 first of all, I really like that that went to the ace match. I do wonder though, like, if if the laser hadn't kind of effed up in that second game, would Alive have even made it all the way through? I, I don't know. It's, it's certainly cool to see that there are Koreans who will fall to foreigners. And I know, it kind of sucks because like, there's the whole, the whole like, oh, is it even going to be close at BlizzCon? And I couldn't tell you honestly. Like some of those foreigners, some people like Snoot and Neve are going to give some Koreans a run for their money. But it's good to see that it's no longer what it once was. You take this back a year ago, man, you don't even see Guru in that semifinals. You don't see a laser in this semifinals. Nope. As uh, many questions as the new format WCS has given us, it's also given us, I guess, a lot of... Well, as many bad questions, I suppose. It's also given us a lot of good questions, like how will this have affected Europeans at BlizzCon or Americans at BlizzCon? <laughs> Because, of course, Neeb's going through. Um, and uh, now we see, I guess, some more Koreans in these smaller tournaments. I think the worst thing about this new format was that we would have loved to have seen Koreans, like, I guess, embrace online cups more. It's awesome to see Billowy and Alive here in Corsair Cup. But that, um, with the limited amount of tournaments they could participate in, Really hoping they would they would go more to the Lima League or some other tournaments would have popped up and well that's one thing that was not a good question not a good surprise. Yeah, I mean it sucks because it's not as simple as just making a cup in the foreign scene. You don't have to worry about teams barring their players from playing. <laughs> in the Korean yeah. scene, you do. Yeah. In fact, for those who don't know, like the increments of improvement we're making with the Lima League, I don't even know if I'm allowed to share this. So sorry, Lima League, don't kill me. Like, we're starting to have big teams allow their practice partners to play. Their main players still can't play, but now their practice partners can. And it's like, cool, then maybe a month from now their main players can play. Maybe they never can. I don't know. But it's yeah, it's really, with, really um, tough, considering there's just nothing out there outside of the big leagues. With Pro League ending, that'll be, I guess, the real real answer. <laughs> uh, it ends, like, next week or something. Two weeks from now. But yeah, that was an unfortunate, co unfortunate consequence that now when people bring up like foreign team leagues and whether that's a good idea or not, so you just be like, well, look what happened in Korea. It became too much emphasis on team leagues. Anyway, um, not really uh, important to this, I suppose. It might be a reason we see Billowy in this league. It, it Maybe not, maybe he was always going to want some extra money, who knows. But Billowy has been pretty good and he has definitely been beating a lot of really good players to win these online cups. We do have now officially, I guess, our former champions out, both Keen and Guru, who have been very consistent in top four, and still made top four, clearly, um, but also top two. Uh, they're out, actually. They, their streak has ended, and now it's time for Billowy, a laser, or alive to start their own streak. In this specific match, Billowy's been looking pretty good versus Terran, and I guess versus Protoss as well, because that's, that that's how we got here, but... I don't know versus Zerg, really. I would actually want to say a laser is going to take this, but we'll see. 
I really want to see what type of style is using too. We saw Snoot just dominate in this matchup, and then last night we saw Scarlet use very similar tactics. <clears throat> that is to say, the uh, Ling Bane Ling tactic. If you guys weren't around to watch. Yeah, not referencing the cheese tactics that we saw some of. <laughs> hey oh <laughs> Proxy Hatch. Yeah, no, not that one. I think that is one of the things I start admiring. Because it's, it's one thing to say a player has multiple builds, but it is about whether they can pull off those multiple builds. You know, Laser really has grown to be a player who can. Young kid as he is, like, I really I really uh, do like watching him play. Because it used to be, like, it really did used to be, you just expected all ins out of him, and it was, like, not the greatest stuff to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like he's going to be going for that style. So it really cements it, I guess, besides the plus one, is going to be if he gets a Spire with this lair. Um, and like, is it Spire going to be for 8 mutas or is it going to be for like 16, 30, 40 mutas, basically? Now, Billowy, I don't know how uh, accustomed he is to this style, as uh, I'm not quite sure what he's facing on, on Korean ladder every single day, but it does seem like mass Ling Bailing is making a big comeback. It had this huge moment where it was like the ultimate godsend, and then people started splitting with adepts and doing okay. And then now it's coming back with just like overwhelming numbers. So <laughs> Bane Lings is gonna work out. And a lot of Pros are having trouble against it. I don't think it's overpowered. I think that Pros are just missing like one or two things and then, you know, that'll that'll help them against the style, but it is kind of brutal. I don't know if Billy's gonna be prepared for it. By having the Phoenix out, I guess, there's no reason to go for that spire that I talked about, whether it is just to fake him out to force more Phoenix or um, to clean up, clean up war prisms or whatnot, but we do typically, typically still see about eight brooches come out, turn into ravagers, then combined with the Ling Baneling force on the ground can add a lot. I don't think roach speed is added in because you don't need it for ravagers, but a laser's bothering to get it. So maybe a little bit different. Billowy, of course, going for a charge lot archon. It seems not resonant glaives, not blink. Has he seen the Baneling nest? A little bit of a Ling scuffle, I think, will happen over here. No, he hasn't seen much of anything. Despite having Phoenixes. Hmm. He hasn't seen the Roach Warren, hasn't seen the Evolution Chamber. Uh, Bayonets is up to the north, hasn't seen that either. I mean, you can kind of do some blind play, though, as Protoss. The the sad reality of it is, like, the combination of Adepts and Immortals are just so good, they really can beat any composition that's not air. And because you've got Phoenix, you're not really so scared of the air. So it's, it's, okay, it sucks that he doesn't scout, agreed, but also it's just the matchup doesn't dictate that you really need to as much, I feel. Oh, I like this cannon placement, actually. It's been a long time since we've seen that little cannon. It's not going to Sim City, but that does help with the Lings. The overcharge, of course, as well, going to drive that off. Phoenix is wrapping around the top left side while this goes on, looking for some drone kills. No queen, no spore car, so freebies over here. Yeah. Pretty, pretty macro game right now. They both really acknowledge going to four bases. I mean, Billowy probably can even fit into fourth base. As the laser's only just now making his army, he got the 72 drones first. And it's not going to be super mass Ling Baneling. It is going to include some roaches, not just ravagers. We got an infestation pit on the way as well. See, that's just for infestors, or if it's going to be a climb up to hive. Creep spread is pretty good. That might be a problem for Billowy later on, as Billowy gets, once he gets closer to Max, and he's uh, obviously nowhere close right now, will want to push. He's getting quite the beefy army, he's gonna have Storm very quickly. He's got his defensive pylon set up, and while he's not reaching for a fourth base, when maybe he could, um, he's still well set up on three bases for a while longer. That's a lot of Banelings. But Storm, Storm is available. All of them just did turn into, into Ravagers, by the way, so a few more than just eight. But, oh god, so many Banelings. I don't know though, uh, Storms are ready! Storm, 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 and they all caught into the Archon as well! Storm's on the Lings too, and I... I want to say Billowy has got this, but he's got to start reinforcing here. There's the Warpins now. Just yeah, Ravagers I mean, left world's... over, I think the laser is <laughs> just... It's a little on two damage. different sides. He's like concaving with immortals. That's never a good feeling. He can grab a couple of these Ravager soup. He really wants to lock them down. Eh, <laughs> ah, not gonna do that, that quite yet. Hive Tech starts up behind this. But what can Hive Tech really add to the equation? 
That was really not that impressive. That was like, what are you guys talking about, Banelings are good, type of not impressive. <laughs> Yeah. But seriously, like I feel the timing for our laser was off compared to what we saw from Scarlet and Snoot. As well as just, since there was very little pressure or fear for Billowy, there was no like, you know, 20-30 links, second is third base, there was no potential for mutas. You know, I just got a Spire, the one's on the way right now. Um, Billy was allowed to go up to super quick storm. And that might be because he is used to playing against Banelings, and he's like, oh, I know exactly what you're gonna do, and I'm just gonna go ahead and try and counter this, but... Even then, all colliding into the, the Archon, never what you want... That worked out really well for Billowy. Uh, the game's not over, clearly. Still a very good economy for a laser. Billowy does grab a fourth as soon as he realizes he's allowed to. Already on his way to Tempest, too, so he knows... He knows what's up. He's just, he's just calling these things, he's not actually scouting them. And the thing that he's, he's really not, it's not so out of the way where you're like, oh my god, how could he possibly read this situation? I mean, it's just kind of good being a smart guy. Huh? I do think it's a lot because of how passive a laser was. I mean, I'm not like, you know, Harsom is a smart guy. Um, who does Scarlet beat? Puck and someone else. They're both smart guys, right? But they, they both, all these Protosses are still just getting overwhelmed. And uh, maybe it's because of the lack of Storm. Maybe it's because the Zerg timing's still a little bit better, I I'm not sure, but... The laser did not look very strong with that style at all, and he's really trying to, to get to the Greater Spire. Because honestly, if Billowy did push with his army, his army's not only even army supply... Barely sees the probes. Nice pullback. It's also just, I think, a better army, right? Like, there's so many Immortals, there's, there's Storms, there's Archons... It's yeah. Billowy that's really quite afraid, though, for a follow-up attack. He's just playing very safe. Any impulse crystals. In case of a muta swap? I gotta say, there's been a couple of cases of watching the Korean Zergs, like Rogue, right? And they have been going for muta swaps after the a similar attack. Um, kind of making their way back into, I guess, the meta, that that scary muta swap you don't expect. But it's been like two, three minutes since that attack has happened. You'd think they've already shown mutas if they were gonna go mutas. So I'm, I'm surprised he's bothering investing into it. Oh well. As long as Tempests are available to be made... Okay, now he's making them. Then a laser's Brood Lords aren't going to be super, super scary. Mm, this is not doing too much, but you want to get rid of your roaches anyway. They're not being too useful. Yeah, this supply can here is kind of whatever. Tempest coming out. I, like, I mean, Tempest, ain't Pulse Crystals... A laser is going to have trouble dealing with range in the sky <laughs> just for a multitude of reasons. But oh, these storms looking to get some <laughs> decent hits. Almost get all the links. A laser paying attention, thank God, too, because if he wasn't, that would have been pretty bad for him. Yeah. If he's hoping to siege Billowy's fourth up indefinitely, he's going to be a little surprised and disappointed because Tempests are here. He did not really leave a lot of corruptors either, you know, that typical problem of making too many yeah. lords. So he's got no way to really dive in on the uh, Tempest. Could be a problem. Don't know where this army sort of came from. It does get a couple of Zealots, which is nice. Brewlord stays sieging up this base. Tempest now in play. Should be able to shell away from the safety of the pylons. Let's not forget, there's still Archons. There's still Phoenix. And there's still Storms to guard all of this. So, yeah, as we see, it's not working so great here for a laser. He will take out some of the Archons, though, right away. That's going to be really nice. Make yeah. some room for the Corruptors to get in here. But there's not enough Corruptors, as you pointed out. So these Tempests have no problem shooting them down. Fortunately, the storms were not plentiful, and the Banelings do roll into a lot of those charge lots. But, I, I mean, there's still so many Immortals left over, and the Tempests are alive, most importantly. I love this. Tempest. The, the Immortals actually are so plentiful that they have no problem shooting the, the Broodlings. You don't yeah, need AoE right? if you can kill them all on, like, instant. Right, yeah. A laser not taking a terrible trade, but just a little tiny a bit worse is down in army supply. And uh, has clearly not broken Billowy's fourth. Uh, I mean, he's on his fifth, and he, maybe even a sixth. There you go. But his his army composition has been countered. Like it's no longer just like, oh, I got the Brood Lords, where you got the Tempest. Let's just win the game. He needs to start thinking about yeah, more Corruptors, uh, upgrades, Vipers too. Just Lings here, not Bane Lings. So the Charge Lots are doing a great job. Archon unfortunately gets surrounded, and the Tempests are without support here. Those Archons are probably going to be better protecting them than they were protecting the Immortals. Maybe Billowy gets a little too overconfident with his composition. No Bling Stalkers to help out here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Billy realizes his lack of anti-air is really hurting him. 
There's not much you can do about it though. Just gotta go back to the cannons. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know the Archons are done. It's it's weird to see this be the issue for him. I really thought he'd have so much more sky control than he actually does, but I guess that is the nice thing about a laser getting on top that's as quick as he did, whereas if he had waited longer, maybe there'd be four Tempests instead of just two at a ooh, time. Ooh, those Corruptors, though. They were all types of bulk time. Yeah, I think at this point in time, we do see Protoss bother to get Blink Stalkers, this because they can problems. help out a lot. It is, it is problems. The laser room started investing a lot more into air. Maybe oh Billy didn't God. expect that. He wins! GG! I can't believe it! GG! A laser, very nicely done. And to provide some better context for those who don't know who Billowy is, this is a guy who has, if you look up his Liquipedia page, been on every team in Korea, every big Kespa team pretty much, as a practice partner at some point. Yeah. So it he's got quite the track record of like playing against other good players. Oh, for sure. Oh, was that us? Did a laser get promoted because of that game? I don't think you can in custom games, can you? So, you're not supposed to, but there has been occasions of that happening elsewhere. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just saying, I don't think you're supposed to. <laughs> you're not supposed to. I don't know why I say Nice Green Master League. Uh, Billowy is going to have to give the map here. So, we're just waiting. I tried to re-energize myself by having a cup of yogurt. I don't think it quite worked. It's coffee, not yogurt, you silly Billy. There's your problem. I don't like coffee. I don't like drinking coffee. It's bad for your teeth, and it can be addictive. He says, yeah, he did get promoted off that game. That's so weird. Mm-hmm. That has to be about because otherwise I can see people totally abusing that for like rank ups if you could custom game it. Yeah. I mean, it might have just been timing, not because you won. Since the way the GM works is a little bit different now. I don't know. Um, I honestly, like, as someone who's never really had, not for years, had dreams of being GM, I've stopped paying attention to how effed up right? the GM I've ladder never... is or. <laughs> I've never, I've only seen the complaints on Twitter about people who like cheat and have five accounts in there. That's yeah. it. That's all I know. Exactly. I think for like a month when I was actually practicing and doing pretty damn well in like higher and higher Masters League, I was like a little concerned. I was like, okay, how do I get a GM? But that did not last for very long. Ooh, now I just need him to ready up. Freddy Freddy. I am so getting sushi after this. It's gonna be glorious. Yeah, with the guy or alone? Alone, I guess. I guess I'll shell out the money. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Whatever. Maybe I'll get a girl, man. I can get both. I wonder if any of my friends are available. But they wouldn't pay for me. That's the problem. That's the trick. the illusion dad mm. it's one good thing about esports events is usually people pay for everyone right there's always that one person that does it and then the next person yeah. that does it and then at some point you're supposed to as well and maybe you do maybe you don't <laughs> maybe you remember maybe you don't yeah 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 it's weird I've, i guess i've never experienced that uh you've definitely gotten people to pay for things for Actually, you yeah we had that one that one dinner with uh jenna or whatever it's really nice i mean dinner with jen jenna we had uh medieval times right was paid for us i'm sure there's been tons of drinks <laughs> that have been paid for us esports people are nice anywho it's frost it's billy's map choice in the bottom left up one he is the green zerg in laser <clears throat> And his opponent at the top right playing from Korea, having a bit of a hard time in that first game. It looked like, I, I just before we do the intro, it looked like he had that game for a long time too. Like everything was going well for him, but fell apart. Now he's down one. It's going to be the orange Protoss Billowy. Mm. It really was a game of him standing strong, which is great. Like always stand strong, always stand proud. But then, you know, eventually you might get beaten back, <laughs> right? And I think that's what happened. He predicted things, he defended well against everything. Um, and then just the one time he kind of didn't expect, I think, a laser to commit so hard to air was the time he got rolled over. 
And I think it's different than other Protosses who might have, after killing, after defending against that one push, you know, with Ling Baneling, waiting a minute, they would have pushed back, you know? They would have tried scouting, seeing like, oh, can I hit you before your Broodlords are ready if that's what you're trying to get to? Okay, I'm gonna try and do that. Billowy never scouted, which didn't seem like a problem because he was anticipating so much, but I think it actually was. Um, and that even if he did scout, that he might have had a, a timing or a moment to win, would he have even taken it? He was playing well defensive, but maybe in a different light, scared, you know? And Frost cross position is not going to be, I think, much more fun. <laughs> New Gettysburg. What? What? Oh, sorry, go on. I'll explain after. Oh, I thought you were, like, heavily disagreeing with me. Um, New Gettysburg, you know, has that choke. No one really uses it past, like, the four minutes. And the top is just full of, like, open, wide areas where lings can surround your units. And that's exactly what, what happened. You know, we pushed into the... Uh, the Broodlords and Ling surrounded his immortals and Corruptors got good concaves on his Tempests. Okay, I forget. Sorry, I, I was just wondering. I thought I just got charged $1,000 for shoes that I didn't buy. And it's just a receipt someone had got sent to my email address, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, if my credit scary. card gets stolen, what just happened? So somebody named, I guess I shouldn't read their full address, but Annette in VA Rutherglen? Where is that? Is it VA? Is that Virginia or where it is, is that? It is, yes. Someone in Virginia. That's oh my credit God. Card. <laughs> There's no credit card info here. It's just the UPS notification, oh, but it's okay. like a $1,000 receipt. How many shoes did you buy? <laughs> Dance Go Macy, Black Floral Emboss, 40 Women's. Like, these are expensive shoes. What the fuck? Okay, so either she is a shoe collector a shoe hoarder, if you will, or she works for some place where she needs to buy a lot of shoes. That's actually supposed to be like a like a work invoice, you know? Maybe. This is weird because uh, my email address is not a... Whoa, what's going on in the game? Oh. The laser, okay. My email address is not exactly a conventional one. Nova Explosion. <laughs> like, does she mean to, to type in A plus her last name at gmail.com or something? Or did she just write my name? Not sure. You know, I I was prepared. I guess Lizzie's gonna drop out, by the way. We'll just try and recover. Did that ever get fixed? Huh. Uh, let's hope it did. Fingers crossed. Obviously, Blizzard knew about it after DreamHack Montreal. There's no way they didn't. Mm hmm. Well, um. Shoot, what was I gonna say? Shoot. Because <laughs> the shoes that I thought I just got charged. Oh, man, I've panicked. I saw this thing that's like. Thanks for your purchase, $1,000. I was like, no, what? I didn't buy anything for $1,000. I don't have that kind of money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I don't remember what I was going to bring up. Drop. Okay, so for those who don't know, the bug with Recover Game is that you can't actually do it properly. And unfortunately, you could, um, a DreamHack with a live event, do this in a way that had people step away from their computers. I don't know if we could do that here. But I'm also wondering, like, not a lot happened? And all that scouting went underway, so can we just force a full remake if this is bugged? Um, yeah, I think so. It was a lot easier offline because you can take them out of their booths. Let's let's try it. Of course, the laser has to get back on first. I actually need to go to the bathroom, so we're gonna take a break while we wait for laser to get back online. <laughs> See you guys in a few minutes.